Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this specific video, I will be talking about the new Rocket League update that is coming super duper uber soon which is it's coming out if you look down here may 10th when i upload this video it is may 9th so this update version 1.34 is coming out tomorrow yes guys let me show you everything that is coming with it so let me read you happy days soccer fans we're excited to announce that our next update for Rocket League is coming later this week, Wednesday, May 10th at 3 p.m. PDT to be exact. That's 6 p.m. EDT for our East Coast players, 12 a.m. CEDT on May 11th if you are in Europe. So if you're in Europe, you gotta wait one more day and 9 a.m. AEST if you're in Oceania. Oceania. Okay, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. So, what's coming this week in version 1.34? If you guys haven't noticed, yes, this is the new Neo Tokyo here. Now, everybody hated this map because of the massive bumps on the side. People were complaining nonstop. Now, they removed that. And what happened is that Neo Tokyo with the bumps is still a thing. But this is a new Neo Tokyo. And then the old one is now called Tokyo Underpass. So, your feedback has been heard. Neo Tokyo is back and we've redesigned it as a standard arena. So now it's just like any other arena but with the crazy lights and buildings in the background. We left scenery untouched to maintain that futuristic metropolis look while removing the parallel ramps on either side of the goals. Neo Tokyo will be returning to all playlists, including competitive, and will be in private matches as well. For those who love the original Neo Tokyo, we have you covered. We are keeping the original arena in Rocket League, but with a new name. Like I said, Tokyo Underpass. This new name slash old look arena will be available in offline and private matches only for now. Tokyo Underpass is also replacing the original Underpass map, which will be removed from the Rocket League Labs rotation starting with this update. What is this? Guys, if you haven't noticed already, this is the new import battle car they are introducing to the game called the Mantis. Yes, it is beautiful. Now, you can get it from the new crate. Yes, there's a new crate coming to Rocket League. Now, as you can see, it's wheels. This is obviously a new wheel, and it is painted orange, and you'll see why later. So, And then, as you can see, the Rocket Trail, it is definitely different and something new coming to the new crate. So... A new battle car enters the arena, available only as a limited time drop inside our next crate. More on that right below us. Mantis is a car many of you have been asking about since our Batman vs Superman DLC update in 2016. It was a very good update, the Batmobile car was a very successful car. I love it and I have it actually. Mantis is a fully customizable and has an all new look, but it uses the same flow, flat hitbox, and turn radius as the Batmobile. We're also including six new decals with the Mantis Arrowhead, Battle Worm, K's, Max with two X's, Roasted, <laughs> and Uproar. <clears throat> then, Nitrous powered crate drops. The new nitro crate, nitro crate, guys, it's coming. The nitro crate is coming tomorrow. The new nitro crate includes the Mantis battle car mentioned above, along with limited drop wheels, decals, rocket trails, and black market customizations. See below for a sneak. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh! Let's look below. Look at this, guys. This is what the Nitro Crate will look like, and just like a Turbo Crate, it's gonna, like, start off, and people are gonna want, like, five keys for one. So, if you get your hands on a Nitro Crate, I I know you guys probably all want to open it, 
but you guys can gain more profit if you sell the crate while it's popular gain profit then once it goes down in price you can buy like a bunch anyways look at this guys so the mantis car at the top To the left and right of the Mantis, we seem to have two new rocket trails. The one on the left seems to be the one in the image above with the Mantis. And on the right, it's a new rocket trail that looks like it is themed from fireworks. Now, the wheel in the middle is possibly a very rare, rare wheel. And it is the wheel we saw that the Mantis was wearing. But as you can see, the Mantis, the ones the Mantis had were like orange. And this one looks more blue and silver. So they could have been painted orange there. On the bottom right, it looks like it could be another very rare wheel, but we do not exactly know what it looks like painted yet. And then, possibly the two new exotic wheels, because they look the sickest and a totally new design. As you can see, there's one that has a massive snowflake on it and totally looks frozen on the edges. Look at these new designs. And then the other one is seemed to have a solar theme with fire on the edges and a dragon in the middle. I can't wait to see what these look like painted this nitro crate is showing a whole bunch of new items never introduced to rocket league before they're going for a whole new look here whole new design of wheels anyways i hope you are excited for the update please drop a like and drop a sub and give me your feedback in the comments below if you liked the video if there was something i should have mentioned and if you've seen my other videos if you ever have a recommendation or something that you think I could improve on on my channel just put a comment message me I will totally consider your opinion and I will try to make modifications to make this channel more fun and entertaining for you guys so that brings me to the end of the video thank you I already said subscribe and like so I hope to see you all in the next video